wanted to make a short video on the uh, Boy Scout patrol cook boxes uh, that our troop made. Uh, we had um, scenarios where we had poor organization when the boys would carry, try to carry their basically cooking gear in the field. And so we had some plastic bins and, you know, it wasn't organized well. Uh, and many times your knives would go into a, a cup or something and there's always a danger of somebody reaching in and, you know, cutting their finger and just, it was horrible and it was too easy to throw things back in that were dirty. And you would notice that you went camping the next month and items were dirty. So we looked at a bunch of different options, uh, things that you could buy that were pretty expensive. And we decided that we would actually build our own and um, try to use some recycled materials in between. Um, the hinges here on the left side, the vertical piano hinges, those were recycled. Um, but a lot of the other hinges uh, and hasps and, and the handles um, we purchased uh, separately. But in total, it was only about $50 a box, not counting the labor of some dads to, to get it done. Um, we had uh, several of the scoutmasters that did different things like routing um, and, and cutting some, some items um, and just making other things available to us, uh, which was wonderful, and some, uh, some friends of mine. So um, we used a half-inch birch plywood um, for the basic structure because it's lighter than wood that's also a half-inch. Um, and also since it's glued together, it's actually a little bit stronger. There is a layer of the uh, veneer that's on there that can chip off um, as it's being used, but these are really supposed to be designed to be used in the field, kind of like a, an old-fashioned Civil War box um, where they use whatever materials they had available. So it wasn't beautiful, you know, period furniture. It was just whatever they could do to get it together. So we expect these to get bumped and dented, um, but we do have some cool logos uh, found on the internet for free that we blew up with a projector, um, printed out and, and, and made available with some tape, uh, painter's tape. And so I just found some free ones. There's one on the other box there. So I've got both boxes set up here so you can see um, the, the cook side and the, uh, the double door side on either one. But the biggest thing is organization. Um, we expect these to be used for a short carry, uh, maybe 100 yards or so. If it's anything further than that, then we'll use our wagon that comes in the trailer, our troop trailer, uh, to carry the boxes. But they're about 65 pounds fully loaded with all the gear. The biggest uh, weight is actually our Coleman cook stove that's in there, as well as um, any of the cast iron items that they would use for cooking. That really takes a big portion of the weight. So I'll go ahead. To, oh, by the way, we used a poly acrylic sealer. We use a sanding sealer first to seal it up and put uh, at least three coats of poly acrylic on to seal it up and kind of protect it from rain. Uh, but these are really designed for uh, rough carpentry. Um, it's not, I mean, even though they do fit quite well, it wasn't designed to be perfect furniture. So I'll go ahead and open. We've got some simple uh, hasps here on the side. I'll open that and you can see the, the cooking surface. So that comes down. Then we just uh, got some recycled uh, laminate that we glued down uh, to make a nice surface for preparation, cutting on it, and then easy wipe up with some bleach items, uh, you know, bleach wipes or whatever, just to keep everything sanitary. And you can see we've got some storage here. We've got some um, mixing bowls on the top left. Top right, we have room for plastic wrap as well as tin foil, you know, using those regular 12 inch rolls. On the right hand side, you'll see we actually have um, our griddle as well as a um, cutting board. And you can see we've got a spot for some matches uh, and then as well as access to our cast iron pots from the back. The Coleman cook stove just folds out. Our gas tank would be separate. We didn't want to have to carry the gas tank. So you can see the Coleman cook stove there. It pops up, opens, and then they can cook on that surface and have everything they need accessible to them, you know, either reaching through or in preparation, they can go to the front. In this case, I'll show you the other box and we can open the double doors and have access to the rest of the stuff we need. You can see on this side, uh, we actually have a paper towel holder. Uh, we actually use a lot of um, fabric rags too, so we can wash them and, and so we're not wasting as much. But paper towels are really handy. And so we've got a nice long draw here on the side so it helps prevent the roll falling off. Um, that's a couple different designs we had to tweak to get that to work so when the boys yank on it with one hand, the paper towel doesn't roll around the campsite. And then you see we've got some simple vertical bins here to hold our items so they don't fall over, um, especially during transit. Um, as the box is moving, they're not going to fall over. And we got creative with some 
um, actually deer antler just to make it a little cool. Uh, on the left side, um, we have some adjustable shelves, um, mainly because gear might change. You might get a different um, item of some sort, and then you have to be able to adjust those. On the left, they adjust except for the top one. And then on the right-hand side, they're fixed because those aren't going to change. So we've got room for a coffee pot. We've got some spare paper towels in this column. Uh, you can put some other vertical things. Maybe you have some cooking oil, um, hand cleaner, sanitizer, you know, those things that you don't want them to fall over. Uh, we can put them in that side as well as access to your mixing bowls again. And then at the bottom, we've got our cast iron pans. We used all the gear we already had. Uh, we didn't buy any new gear. And so in this case, this particular pan was much, much larger, and I didn't want to have to make two different sizes of cook boxes, so we had to cut a little groove to hold that. But it worked out perfect. And then on the right side, you can see we've got a spice rack uh, with some salt and pepper and different items, and then we have a magnetic knife holder, which prevents all of those items from falling down and cutting you when you try to open them. Um, the magnets are just simple hard drive magnets that we recycled. So uh, really awesome. Um, free and and right here is a I just put a wooden piece because it helps since this sticks up off the back it allows um, these metal items to lay flat that way they get as much contact with the magnets as possible so very simple design there and then um, these other wood these horizontal wood items that we use um, in, in in some other areas in the cook box those are all uh, from an old cook box an old Civil War cook box that we had that was uh, very heavy, way too difficult for boys to carry, that uh, we rebuilt into a smaller version for the adults. Um, and that was the original design for these and allowed us to perfect um, our design so we had a good one for the boys. So uh, that's the big picture. Have a great day.